Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal is switching like a TV studio or multicam intro. Okay, so what I'm talking about like a TV studio is multi-camera editing. Having more than one camera and being able to switch between the two. In Premiere Pro, there's no limit to the amount of cameras you're using. You just have to make sure you've got enough power. Each stream of video requires more disk speed, more RAM, more computing power. So if you've got a dozen AVC HD cameras in here, uh, you'll output beautifully, but you might not play in switches as fast as you, you can. I'm just going to use um, nine cameras um, right now, and I want to make sure that you have a look at this wonderful book called Mastering Multicam or Techniques by Mitch Jacobson. I am using footage from that book that actually comes on the DVD. This is a fantastic guide to working with multi-camera editing. Lots of great tips and techniques about how professionals shoot, and you get concert footage to shoot like I've got here. All right, let's go have a look. So here we are in Premiere Pro. I already have a whole bunch of clips over here on the left-hand side, nine of them. And over on here, I've made a multi-camera master. And if you click on this button over here on the right, this button editor, and drag this down to here, that allows you to toggle your multi-camera view on and off. So that's how I'm able to show you uh, the switching. But let's start by combining all of these clips together. So each one of these is a different camera angle. They were shot all together at the same time. I'll select all of them. Now, you'll notice that I'm dragging from the top and I'm selecting one. You always have to start by selecting one. The very first one you select is the format that the sequence will be made. So if you have a combination of 720p and 1080p and 2K, 4K, choose the, the first one that is your sequence size. Right click and then choose create multi-camera source sequence. Now I don't happen to have um, I happen to have time code in here, but you could use audio if you wanted to. So if all of those cameras were just, you know, started at different times, then no problem. Premiere Pro is going to actually read the time code and then shift the position to each one and lock them in together. Uh, let's call this concert. And we're going to use an, a preset automatically based on it. If, if you're going to poke around in here, you could run into problems. So my suggestion is to leave that automatic. You can also offset the video frames, uh, the audio uh, and video frames, if there is a certain out of sync thing going on, not by syncing what we have, but uh, inherent in the files itself. You can move all the source to a, a, a bin. We've already done that before. You can use the sequence settings based on one camera, all cameras, or all switch audio. We're going to use one camera. And then we can either enumerate, use the track names, or use the clip names. Click OK. And now when I double click and open this up and play this, They're all in sync. Now again, we have time code in these clips, but if this was audio, it would take a little bit longer to process, but they would still be in sync. Okay, so this is a source sequence. This is not an actual uh, clip yet, so let me close that up. That's a source sequence, so double-clicking on that opens it inside here. If you right-click on here and choose Open in Timeline, you will actually open all of the different cameras inside here that you can see. So each one of the cameras turned on or turned off. This is incredible. This allows you to fix a multicam source sequence after the fact. Like maybe I want to add in a clip or color correct something different. All right, but how do we turn that into our TV switching studio? On the left-hand side, right-click and choose New Sequence from Clip. Now we have a new master sequence. So you'll notice the difference. This looks like a regular sequence and this is a uh, source sequence. 
Premiere Pro uses a nesting metaphor, so it's nesting the source into the master. You can always go back and change that, but now we're going to get into switching. So like I showed you before, this button here, toggle that, and it's also Shift-0, opens that up, and I'm just going to drag this out here. You'll notice that this is yellow, and I'll drag this up a little bit. When it's yellow, it doesn't mean you're recording any of the switches yet. As soon as I hit play, I will start to record the switches. And I'm switching. And you notice that they're red. Okay, I think you get the idea. Clicking on each one of those locks in the red and I switched to that camera. I can also use the keys on the top of my keyboard, not on the numeric keypad, but on the top. And if we zoom in here and look, you'll notice that in the timeline, we now have cuts inside here. So that's our camera cut. If you don't like a specific angle, then click and you'll change that angle for the entirety of that clip right there. The whole clip changes that angle. You can also right click, go to multi-camera and choose a specific camera. I just think it's much easier to click inside here. All right. If you wanted to cut in the middle of one of these cuts, and go to a different camera angle. So right now, if I want to go to this one, I'm going to switch the whole cut. But I want the beginning of that cut to be here. And at that point, I want this one. Hold the Control key on Windows, Command on Mac, click. Now I've cut between those two. All right. So that's the easiest way to get your multicam uh, started. You know, you can automatically synchronize them. And I had time code, but even if you had uh, just audio only, you could still sync. It works great with just two cameras too. You don't have to have 64 or 100 cameras. You know, just two will work just fine. So I also want to recommend again, Mitch Jacobson's book and files that you can get. Fantastic. Grab that from Amazon. It really is a, a well-rounded course to teach you about multicam editing. There's way more in multicam and Premiere Pro, but that's a good introduction to switching like a TV studio. All right, hopefully you found this informative. If you did, then click on the subscribe button to video revealed below. If you're not already using Adobe Creative Cloud, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.